Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a Transformers Legacy Beast Wars character. It's Nightprowl, who is a remold of Cheetor, but we we look at Nightprowl, we're going to look at the package in Transformers Legacy, Night Autobot Nightprowl. He's just a repaint of Cheetor, so he's going to fill in for my Maximal Cheetor. He's just a repaint. Not bad. I do say so myself for the artwork on the box is good. Even the back of the box, the figure looks amazing. Well, that's all there is to say for the box. And let's get down to some transform. Before we get on the transformation, we're going to do some beast mode comparisons with some easy ones to transform. Just one easy one, then we're going to get down to transformation. Here we got the Transformers Kingdoms Night Prowl next to... Optimus Primal, why not? I need to get a better one, but now let's transform it, which I've got this transformation memorized. I'm just that good. We op split the belly to reveal the robot mode parts. Rotate the arms so you can see the robot mode arms. Why not? Flip down the cheater jaw, and now we're going to Connect it into the lower body. This snaps in right there. And there we got his head all ready to go. And he's got an Autobot insignia on his head. I'm going to do a little close-up on that. Let's see if we can close-up on it. But yeah, look at that. Ah, that's so cool. Now we're going to straighten out the legs, which are very simple to transform. And then we're going to disconnect his weapon. This... Little tail axe weapon. Why not? There I say, why not? Flip up the feet like so. Flip down his robot mode feet. Second verse, just like the first. Now we're going to accordion these robot paw legs to the back like so. Oh, we got a flip these little panels in right here and there we got his beast mode body almost done and now we do his legs which are very simple fold them backwards and now he's ready to do some battle with some Predacons we can give him this gun I have from Connectabots so you can be like take my Gatling gun of justice Predacons because Cheetor, or Nightprowl, Nightprowl is here to knock you in the next week with my trusty cheetah axe. Yeah. And why not add some lead to those con? But yeah, he's pretty articulated and posable. Bend at the knee, ankle tilt, love that. Elbows. Arm does a lot of wiggle. I mean, no backwards movement with the arms unless you do that. Legs can go all the way, almost all the way back. Get him in a running pose and be like, yeah, eat lead and take my axe to your face, Predacon. But yeah, a good looking figure for this Transformers Legacy Night Prowl. I love this figure. I love the paint. I love the sculpting. He is definitely filling in for Cheetor in my collection, so I don't need to track down a Cheetor. I got the perfect fill-in for him. Why not? There, I say why not. And now, we're going to make the camera a little bit wider, and we're going to do some comparisons. Here we have Night Prowl next to a Kingdom's Legacy figure. Kingdom's figure. It's Rhinox, the genius. Why not? Say why not? Of course. 
why not the leader of the Maximals, my first Optimus Primal. Why not? Say why not? And of course, why not with the Rat Trap? With Rat Trap, because I have this figure. I got this figure from Ollie's, I think, last year, and I'm so glad to have this for comparison. And now I gotta fix Drill Bit's little beast mode so I can show you off what he looks next to Drill Bit. But here is Drill Bit, a vintage 1990s Beast Wars, and that re release 1990s Beast Wars Drill Bit. Drill Bit. This figure, I don't know, but he looks like a big crab, so I call him Pincher, because that's the name I gave him. Some vintage Beast Wars, why not? And, of course, some fast food Happy Meal Transformers, because I have two of them. We got this figure that reminds me of Tarantulas. Another Maximal comparison. It's the repaint of Vertebrae. So, yeah. If you want to do it, that's some epic comparisons. A Creo Cheetor, because it's the only Cheetor I own. And last but not least, a couple more we got. Here is my custom Ravage or Panther, if you want to be specific. And last but not least, my vintage re-release 1980s Megatron. Oh, yes. But yeah, I own a lot of Maximals and Predacons this year. But now we're going to get down to some bot mode comparisons. We're going to get down to how many Beast Wars I own. We got Megatron, Night Prowl. Rhinox, Optimus Primal, the uh, Tarantulas, my version of Tarantulas, why not, Rat Trap, Repaint of Vertebrae, Drill Bit, why not? If I can get drill bit. Mom, I, I'm busy with the review. I'll be with you when I'm done. So sorry about that. My mom wanted to talk to me when I'm busy at the moment. Of course, Panthor or Ravage, last comparison. My mom wanted to talk to me when I'm in the middle of something. The Pincher. And Creo Cheetor. And how many Beast Wars do I actually own? I'm sorry about my mom interrupting me here. She does get out of hand some days. So how many Beast Wars do I own? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Transformers Beast Wars. And these figures are so awesome. So glad to show these off, and sorry I had to yell at my mom upstairs. She just didn't know I was shooting a video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.